Hello everybody, it's Claire, I'm back with a, a bit of a longer video this time. I know I've been promising it, and here it is. I'm basically just going to be reviewing the ships, well, the ARC-1 ships for this episode of Claire Chats. Anyways, we're starting off with the OG-1, Clayril. Not going to talk a huge lot about this one, it's just not, it's, it's not really anything to me. I, I just don't like it. The way Peril, like, acts about it throughout the books is just strange, you know? And Clay wasn't an interesting, like, character to me. So I didn't really love the ship, but there's, like, no, like, cute problems with it. Then we have the next one between the two Sea Wings, aka the only ones who are from the same tribe ship. These two are, um, I, I don't know. They're they're okay. They're not like anything really. I don't know. It was like an instant love thing, and how Riptide had a sad sad backstory with his father. Oh, oh how how beautiful! And then Tsunami finally falls in love with the first dragon who didn't attack her like immediately when she left the Sky Kingdom. Anyway, well, kind of yeah. But other than that, I don't really, like, mind them. They, they exist, you know? I don't really care about anything else. I like their designs, which I did. That that was fun to do. It, it was fun to draw. Reptiles was hard figuring out his colors. But eventually, I just figured it out. I was going to do, like, this dark colors, but then I found a funky, like, mode. And I fixed it. Okay, the next ship. Um, okay, Glory Bringer. I'm not really gonna do delve into this one too much. Feel free to um, discuss it with along yourselves. Anyway, um, okay, yeah, I like the designs I did for them. I gave Gory eventually, and as you'll see, I gave her more muted colors because it is described out the books that she has more plain colors, obviously, since she was raised in a literal cave under a rock. <laughs> I also I gave Deathbringer like bluish colors because I think that looks good, you know. His head was really wonky at first, and I had to fix that size because, geez, yeah, that, that didn't work. Dragon chins are like weird, like they have to be like perfect. They're kind of easy, but they're just kind of hard. Line art was fun. It, line art is always actually really fun unless it's super complicated, but it was fun this time. I like doing the cool, like, dark, like, big splots of lines. I honestly just, uh, it was just, like, fun design characters. Designing characters is probably the funnest thing about these. Because I can just, like, experiment, you know? There's some, like, cool, like, add modes and, like, multiply. And I can just play around the colors. I can play around the, um opacities, I can do anything I want, and I think that's just, like, the fun thing. Okay, we got our last ship. Uh, um, a yeah, Fate Flay, or Star Speaker, or whatever you want to call it. Not a huge fan of it. Of course, it's probably one of the better ships. But, oh my gosh, was this one rushed. <laughs> it was so rushed. So forced. I could see them, like, being, like, cute friends, but officially, like, Okay, well, whatever. And I just don't think their personalities mesh together too well. But yeah, that's enough of Claire Chats for today. I will talk about the ARC 2 ships next. See you guys. Have a great day.